Hey, look, Mum Known Computer here, and you may remember a few months ago, I only had three or four of these beautiful machines. But now, as you can see, woo, I've got far too many. Yeah, I got a little bit obsessed with kind of finding a bargain, and whoo, sheesh capiche, I found a few too many bargains. If you look in the right places, you can find these for anything under 100 quid but they're usually untested and there's a chance they might not work. But nine times out of 10, I've found that they actually do work. For instance, this one, Service Lab number three, was in a shed for 40 years. It's all cracked and bent. The front panel is actually caved inwards. I turned it on anyway, expecting it not to work. It works perfectly. So there we go, these things are built to last. A beautiful relic from the 60s that is just always gonna stay alive. It's probably gonna outlive you and I. So I found out about these beautiful things through Dennis Vershaw at Wave Research Center, who's got a fair few of them and he makes music with them. I was like, I could do that too. So yeah, I got a little bit carried away. I've also seen that Heimbach is uh, kind of getting interested in them. He managed to get hold of one of the massive sound meters that is nearly as big as a baby. Uh, it's amazing. So yeah, anyway, my plan with all of these is to make it into kind of like a big test equipment studio for when the museum of everything else, if this ever happens, actually comes out where people can play in this studio and have a little little go and a little twist however I need to modify some of them and make some more modules that will sit them and make them all work together so this beautiful machine here is the type 2113 audio frequency spectrometer you may remember in the last test equipment rock video I made the most of the electromechanical switch inside here and kind of broke it out to make this knob kind of move on its own and select through every single frequency band that this thing has in it. It's basically a large fixed frequency kind of bank. You know, like in the Moogs where you can twist them and it's sort of a resonant EQ. The problem with this and the major setback with this machine is you can only select one of these frequency bands at a time. But that's because this was made to isolate each frequency band and flick through to the next one to hunt down uh, a bit of rattling or like where there is a bit of um, resonance. Whatever this was being used for at the time and the application. However, for music, it could be a little bit more useful. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to break out every single one of these fixed filter banks. How am I going to do that? Well, the last time I took this apart, I found in the back every single filter bank had its own card with an input and an output. So I'm gonna get wires coming from the outputs of each of the cards and put it into a big box that I'm gonna build up here. And this big box is basically gonna be a big mixer. I'm gonna use this schematic from CGS and I'm gonna transfer it to this strip board layout. Yeah, and we're gonna make this into a fixed frequency bank. Let's take it away. The expansion box is done. Well, at least I think so, I hope so. It's looking pretty good on the inside, it's looking pretty good on the outside. So what I need to do now is I need to drill some holes into the back panel of the brawler here so I can attach three of these. So that means I can break out each of these frequency bands from the brawler here and um, attach them to this um, rather large fancy mixer. Got in, 
time to wire this up, but first I'm going to do a little bit of doodles on the third row of the Game Boy panels. So I've made this little kind of like board that will actually sit inside it nicely and that will connect to the back panel. Now I need to work out where all of the output pins are on these little uh, cards that have the separate filters in them. It's pretty straightforward actually if you have one of these. This board that I've just pulled out actually has three separate filters on it and there's an input on that side and then there's three outputs. It's as simple as that. So I'm literally just going to solder wires onto here, coming out and then coming out and around and then it's going to solder onto this board that will sit here and then that will connect to these and then these will connect over to the expansion box. So now all the filter cards are broken out, it's just a case of plugging them into this little piece of strip board that's the same size as the card. Ooh, nice. There we go, it's done. It's looking lovely. So why don't we see what it sounds like? I've plugged the fart box into it so we can have a listen at what it kind of does. So each single one of these knobs adjusts the volume of a certain kind of bit of the frequency band. So if I turn up, let's say uh, 2.5K, uh, you get a kind of idea. What about 4K? Uh, what about 12.5K? Oh, it sounds like crickets are out back. 8K? Oh, yeah.
like a haunted cricket field. God, that's pretty creepy. So that's what it would sound like if there was a ghost coming after you in the woods. If you hear that noise, run. Time to get a bit creepy, so we've got Elmo out. Sounds like an owl or something in a horror film. Sounds like robots having sex. So yeah, that's the Brawl and Cure Fix Filter Bank. It's not all I'm going to do to this. I'm actually gonna add a voltage controlled amplifier to every single one of these knobs. And that will mean I'll have a super simple voltage controlled amplifier module schematic that I will share when I've done it. The next Brawl and Cure themed thing that I need to build is a mixer. So I'm gonna work on that and it's just gonna be a very large version of this. So I can plug up everything and make loads of bleeps and bloops. And hopefully when I get this museum of everything else, Fingers crossed, other people will be able to come and play on it as well. All of these sounds that you heard in this video and more are available as stems and samples on my Patreon. You can do whatever you want with those. The link is in the description for that. So yeah, I've been looking my computer. Don't forget to subscribe and remember... Don't